back and today we are watching this Tank vs Range Rover Challenge Part 2 so let's get into it. But does it? Because it now has sport steering and sport suspension and a sporty spoiler at the front, does it mean it no longer works off-road? Well, to find out, we've devised a little test. This is a Challenger 2 tank. It has a 12-cylinder diesel engine which produces 1,200 horsepower, and that's enough for a top speed of nearly 40 miles an hour. Not bad for something which weighs 62 tons. That's the quite cool. I'm most interested in, though, is the big gun, which, as you can see, is rifled for greater accuracy. Not like those smooth-bore American ones that just hit something over there. It fires a smorgasbord of ammunition, chief among which really you've got high explosive rounds which hit the target and blow it to pieces, or the depleted uranium rounds which penetrate the armour on the target and give everyone inside two heads. The idea is, is that I've got to drive the Range Rover Sport from here, okay, to those woods over there, and you've got to see if you can get your gun pointed at me in such a way that if you push the fire button, I'd be history. Who's the gunner? Who's the one that... You're the gunner? Yep. Engage I'll be keeping you in my sight. Try. You'll be trying. I will be. Sorry. How old are you? Me, 26. 26. I think he knows everything. Just watch this. Watch this. So here we are on the start line. Goliath and David Beckham. I have a cunning plan. You see, they'll be expecting me to go forwards because that's where the destination is. Ready? Three, two, one, now, now, now. <laughs> And straight into the woods. Horribus, horribus, horribus. I've read enough war comics to know that tanks can't go in woods. Halt! Because they can't move their barrel around. Right, I'm nimble, I'm agile. What I hadn't read, though, was the war comic featuring the Challenger's secret weapon. Let's smoke! turned into a kipper, so I decided to deploy the car's tyre bursting speed. And away we go. A dash. Over rough ground, the Challenger 2 is the fastest tank in the world. Now I'm doing 40 miles an hour. The tank can go that fast though. No, no. I seem to have brought Puff Daddy's car to this song! This is where I'm going. You can't drive an off-road car, not even one as good as this, over this kind of surface fast, and you can with a tank. Speed wasn't working. I couldn't break free from that gun. I need some cover. Turn you sunshine. Right, he's going around the circle. Now, you see, what I've done brilliantly is hidden behind these bushes. So I'm fully protected from the high explosive round by the branches. Get out of the corner, get out of the corner. But then it dawned on me that the branches might not actually stop the shell. Look at this, watch what I can do here. Sneak behind him. Stumped by my agility. <laughs> yeah. A 
I'm making smoke. Oh, yes. Don't miss magic hands. In seconds, though, he was back on my tail. I've got to say, I know it's not the most important thing at the moment, but some of the ride comfort has been lost. Like turning the Range Rover into a sport model. There was no way I could survive in open ground. I've got it, I've got it. Okay, take it, take it, take it. Because that turret can do a full rotation in nine seconds. So my last chance was to try some serious off-roading. If I can get down to the bottom of this ridge here, he won't be able to he won't be able to come down. Oh, I've got to put him a little bit neutral. I want that on. Low range. Come on, hurry up! His gun won't go low enough to be able to get me. He's just coming down. Quick down, quick down, quick down. So if I back up again, don't let me down now. Do not let me down now. That's it, honest it, honest it. Be good off road. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Power. Be a good off road, Carly. You are. Oh, yes. I really was expecting this to be useless off-road, and it just is. That brought me some more time, but not much. This really is just a battle of, of rage. Who runs out of fuel first? And that's a bad plan, because I suspect it's going to be me. You can't get away from it. It is really a very, very good off-road car, this. It really is. But... If you're planning on invading another country, use a tank. And somebody's going to pull up next to you in a proper big Range Rover, and you're going to look and think, look how high they are. Well, you yeah. always think. Well, yeah. <laughs> it has a much better interior than yeah. the Sport, and it has the fold-down tailgate. Yeah, and you can have that engine in this one. Yeah, you, you have, have a supercharged engine. Then you've exactly. Got what I would say, in conclusion, is that if you're really not hammering down a road, this Sport is what six or seven percent better than the normal Range Rover. Okay. Eight. Eight, final offer, eight percent better than the normal Range Rover, but for everything else, that's best. So really, that would be uh, what we'd say in summary, is that if you're going to buy a Range Rover, make it a proper one. Not that anyone will listen to that, they'll buy the Sport, and I reckon, well, every footballer's going to have one for a start. Ooh, yes. And by next year, you could walk from Cheshire to Surrey on like a carpet of Range Rover Sports, without ever touching the ground, all the way. Absolutely, and do you know what? The Gulf Stream would continue to flow. If you like that, please subscribe. Goodbye.